So a while ago, I made a tutorial on how to play Minecraft Java Edition on your phone. Got a lot of comments about the pointlessness of that video. PC Minecraft on your phone. So it's basically Pocket Edition. I already had that. Or just download Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, Pocket Edition? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You like doing things the easy way. Well, I don't. I like doing things the stupid and convoluted way. That's why I still edit with Sony Vegas. That's why I never upload. That's why I still use MS Paint to capture screenshots like this one. Can you do it the other way around where you play Pocket Edition on PC? Yes, I can, Lucia Yego. Yes, I can. But isn't Pocket Edition basically just Bedrock Edition now? That's actually available on Windows 10. Even better. It's pointless videos like this that keep me going. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your PC to play Minecraft Pocket Edition. One person asked for this, hundreds of thousands will watch this, and probably nobody will bother to try it. Let's begin. First thing you'll need is a program called BlueStacks. It's basically just an Android phone emulator for your PC. It's totally free if you don't mind a few ads here and there. You can download and play pretty much any mobile game imaginable on BlueStacks. Theoretically, you could even download some free mobile games here and enjoy their annoying ads on a free program that also has annoying ads, all from the comfort of your PC. Don't you love technology? So just follow the link in the description to download BlueStacks or type bluestacks.com into your browser. You'll reach a page that looks like this. Click download BlueStacks 5, or whatever the current version is at the time you're watching this. Open the folder you downloaded BlueStacks in, and double click the file to start the installation. It goes by pretty quick, but uh, they included a few ads to watch during the installation, so it feels much longer. Don't worry, we're almost there. Next, click on Game Center. From here, go to the search bar in the upper right and type Minecraft. The first result here is the one I'm going to install. Click Minecraft and you'll be prompted to log into your Google Play account. If you already own Minecraft Pocket Edition in the Google Play Store, you shouldn't have to buy it again. But since I don't own it, because why would I? I'm going to pay $7.49 for a much shittier version of a game I already own like eight copies of. All for content. Please like and subscribe. After you buy your copy of Minecraft Pocket Edition, just wait for it to install and click play. Minecraft should launch after that and prompt you to log into your Microsoft account. Log into that and you're set to go. Pocket Edition World. Hmm. Kinda. Controls are all exactly the same here as they are on PC Minecraft, except you just have to click and drag your mouse to look around instead of just moving your mouse to look around. It sounds somewhat convoluted and pointless, I know, but the good news is, is, um, I can make this so much more convoluted and pointless. Next, we're going to use the screen mirroring technology for my other tutorial. This step is optional, of course, but uh, we're invested in this now. I'm not going to let that 749 go to waste. The software is called Splashtop. You can follow the instructions in this video here to install it yourself. Splashtop will allow us to control our PC using just our phone. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Minecraft, the game of infinite possibilities, available on nearly every gaming platform and console, is proud to announce a new, terrible, and difficult way to play. Using several probably patented and totally unrelated technologies, we've concocted the perfect combination of pointlessness to frustrate you while playing Minecraft, just like Mojang intended. Say goodbye to intuitive and easy Minecraft gameplay on your platform of choice, and say hello to Minecraft Pocket Edition on your PC, on your phone. The future of Minecraft is here. What does it look like? Input lag that puts Australian ping to shame low frame rates that even the best phones and computers can't compensate for, and a vast marketplace full of expensive, poorly designed, and unmoderated in-game purchases. That's not new, but it just made sense to throw it in there. Pulling your hair out yet? Just wait until you try multiplayer. Bed Wars? More like... Dead Wars. Cause you'll... you'll be dead. Bed Wars? Oh no. More like... Fuck you. It's a rough time, that's my point. Minecraft Pocket Edition on your PC. On your phone. Because dumb shit gets views. I want to see somebody actually attempt to play like this. I'll give anyone who can legitimately win a solo game of Bed Wars with this setup a shout out. No parties or teams. If you can do it, post a video on the media channel on my Discord server. Link in the description. I want to see this happen. I'd like to thank Salad for sponsoring today's video. Don't click off yet, you're gonna like this one. Salad is a crypto miner specifically made for gamers, which is great because my crypto portfolio is tanking hard. Salad's a much safer investment, mostly because it's free. It works by using your computer's GPU while you're AFK to generate real life cash, not fake life cash. Unless we're in a simulation. Real life cash for doing absolutely nothing. Just download the app at the link in the description, set up your free account using promo code OGACE, hit the start button, and watch the numbers on your screen go up. Because watching numbers on screens go up is what life is all about, right? Learn that from playing Skyblock. Once you've earned enough, you can redeem rewards for things like Amazon or Visa gift cards, Discord Nitro, straight up PayPal cash, and they even have Minecraft rewards in there. I could buy some mine coins for my new setup. As tempting as that is, I'm gonna go with PayPal cash. Just select the reward, click buy now, and enjoy your free money. You've earned it. I mean, not really, but it's still yours. Thanks again to Salad for sponsoring this video. I've actually worked with them a few times in the past. It's a reliable company with a genuinely great product. So definitely check it out. Download link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful somehow, check out this one. It's how to fake a Minecraft screenshot. A very useful and in-depth guide. I actually use Photoshop in that one. So big step up from MS Paint. Check it out and subscribe today. Become an asshole. And as always, keep it fresh. I'm gonna go play some Minecraft Java Edition to get rid of my headache.